the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. Trump supporters and anti-Trump activists come to blows. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. They're the high prices that we're seeing at gas stations, at stores, in many cases are high because corporations are choosing to keep them high. BlackRock and other Wall Street firms which seek to buy as much single-family housing as possible to turn America into a nation of renters. That the government should be involved in the censorship of what turns out to be true information. The FBI and the DHS and companies like Twitter and Facebook Today, you have to question the algorithm, and that is a staggering amount of power in the hands of these technology companies. Microplastics are everywhere, and turns out they're swirling around in our atmosphere, too. A new disturbing study was released just this month, the report by the University of Stockholm saying that rainwater is no longer safe to drink anywhere on Earth. So here we are uh, at Eagle Pass. This is kind of where it starts, Eli, okay. where you see you know, all these thousands of people on a train. This is where they're coming through. Since the beginning of Russia's war in Ukraine, the American taxpayers provided Ukraine with $113 billion. The goal is to have an endless war, not a successful war. You have to wake up and smell the coffee. No right. We are labor and we stand tall. The billionaire class has been taking everything and the working class has been left scraping paycheck to paycheck just trying to survive. It's time to put an end to that class war. You will have the greatness to bend history, but each of us could work to change a small portion of the event. But I am not loyal to any party above principles. That is why I am running for president today. Our country is being stripped by our middle class, the working poor, by this corrupt collusion of, of corporate and government power. Be the first day in office order an end to all attempts by federal agencies to censor the speech of Americans. Both Republicans and Democrats love the environment. They want to keep sacred places. They don't want toxics for their children. We have to have orderly immigration in this country because it has been a dystopian nightmare. As long as our major exports are weapons and war, we will never have a middle class in this country. Our country is being ransacked, and the people who are ransacking it, their best interest is to have us all fighting each other. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the light who shines in the darkness of American politics and will lead us to a new day. Sink or swim, live or die, survive or perish, from this day on, I am with my country.